Hello, I am now going to talk about the Bloodborne Figma from, again, Good Smile. They make the Figma figures. I have not personally played Bloodborne. However, I am obsessed with the character design. I think the art style and music is fantastic, and I would love to get a PS4 just for it. But that's not about... This isn't about the game. It's about this figure. So, starting off with the painting and sculpting and just the design of him, I love how he looks. I don't know if this is 100% accurate to the in-game model of the Hunter armor, because I believe there were some little coattails hanging down from the shoulders, if I could be assuming that correctly. I'm not sure. But I do know that this looks largely just like it does in the game. Focus. Focus camp. Thank you. Um... The mask is painted on. That's not a separate piece. That's just painted on there. The hat is sculpted to his head. The scarf is a floating piece and is separate from the uh, rest of the neck. So starting at the feet for the articulation, toe bend very far up. Not as far as the same as Figma, but still good. The coattails can move individually, both sides. And they go out about, yeah, that far. The knee is pretty far, about as far as you'd really want it to go, I think. Knee, or thigh, I mean, can go up just about that high. And back that far, following the cape, or coattail, I mean. He can get the splits decently well, but not perfectly. Uh, this is a majority of this is soft rubber. The figure is uh, this is soft rubber the coat on his body is this uh, strap and His collar as well all soft rubber the interesting thing about this guy is he has an internal skeleton inside of the coat which is really intriguing and makes a lot of sense of course so moving up to the arms now uh, full wrist swivel up and down, and the wrist movement depends on the way you have the peg. Let me show you. So, the hand has a socket in it that plugs to this peg that is attached to the arm. And you can twist that up and flip it down to the side, so it's now a back and forth movement. Uh, for the chest, uh, limited side to side, N a decent ab crunch, and not much arcing back whatsoever. But the crunch is really good. Uh, head is pretty much unlimited. You can make him look and do whatever you want with his head. It can go a full 360, no problem. Uh, can't really look up very far whatsoever, but down very far. Um, his arms can go out that far if it's just a neutral position. Elbow, v not a very deep bend, but it has a, has a swivel at the bottom of the elbow. Uh, the, the arms are kind of awkward to move, but they can get a full 360. And let me pop it off. If it'll come off, there we go with just a simple standard Figma ball joint and axle inside there. Um, back is beautifully well done peg hole for his stand. Uh, this is soft rubber. The hat is also soft rubber as well, which I really quite like a lot. Now, let's see if I can get him standing. There we go, bud. He includes his cleaver, obviously, and it hinges and holds its position incredibly well. Oh, let me show you that again. It's largely a softer plastic and is not brittle at all. And it even has some runes painted on it there. I don't know what those say or what they could mean, because again, I have not played Bloodborne, unfortunately, though I would love to. Trigger is soft rubber, so no worry about that snapping. Now, I made him, I kind of made a stupid decision. His gun hand, or his left trigger finger, could not hold his weapon properly, so I glued the flintlock into his hand. 
which I don't really regret that much, but it was a stupid decision. The flintlock is beautifully sculpted. Very, very well done. The, the grip is probably my favorite part because of that cloth wrapped around it and the bottom of the stock. It even has a trigger modeled in there with the hammer, primer, all of that very well done. Uh, I don't really know if it has sights or if it's supposed to, but that looks like a post sight and that might be intended to be a rear sight. I really don't know. That little ball on top. Um, he included a runner for his extra hands. I broke this one off by mistake. But he has two gripping hands, relaxed palms. I have him with his fists right now, of course. And I use this hand for his cleaver when I have him out. This one is too tight to really hold anything. So I don't know what it could be used for, but I guess it just depends on what figure you, or if you get the optional weapons accessories pack for him, which is about $40. Packaging is a very big window box, and it's probably one of my favorite boxes in terms of the artwork Figma put on it. It looks great. But this was just a short video, but... Ultimately, I really like this dude. He's pretty sick. I would love to play Bloodborne, though.